I'm Chanel from Tips and Tricks HQ and in this tutorial we'll use the WP Shopping Cart plugin to sell digital media files. After watching this tutorial and creating your own digital product, you will have created something similar to this test product on the screen. I have used the product box display shortcode to create this product, which allows me to have a thumbnail image, a title, a short description and a price. Once entering your details into the shortcode, it creates an add to cart button which allows your customers to check out using PayPal. Before I walk you through the steps in creating your own digital product, we'll need to just configure some PayPal settings. So if you go up to your PayPal profile and in the settings, selling tools, I'd just like to draw your attention to instant payment notifications. So you'll need to update this and make sure it's enabled. So edit settings. And here's where you can paste the homepage of your website and you'll need to mark enabled and save. This completes our PayPal configuration for use of this plugin. So we'll go back to the dashboard and we'll be able to create a product. So pages, add new. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be selling a wallpaper as a digital download. So now that we've entered in a title, we'll need to put in the short code. We can copy the short codes that allow the sale of a digital product straight from the WP Shopping Cart documentation page. So under how to sell digital downloads, if you scroll down, it's this second URL that we'll be using. So if you just copy this, make sure you've got the entire URL. You can simply paste it into the text mode. So now we we'll just need to customize this short code for our digital download. So my digital product is going to be, you'll need to set the price. Mine's going to be $2.95. And here's where you'll need to enter in the file URL. Just backspace this one. And then if we come up here, open our media in a new um, tab, and this is the photo I'll be using. You can get the URL straight from here. So copy the entire thing. And under file URL, simply paste this one in. And under the thumbnail image, I'll be using the same image because I'm selling a wallpaper. Paste that in. And you'll need to also add a description if you wish. Now that we've entered in everything for the short code, you can go ahead and publish. Now we'll go ahead and view. So open link a new tab, and this is what it's created. So it's created an add the cart button. You can see the price, the description, and the title, along with the thumbnail image. Although your digital products page will look similar to that of a physical product, your customer will receive an email with the digital product link so they are able to then download the item they've purchased. Although I've used the copy and paste shortcode method in this tutorial, you're also able to use the shortcode inserter. So below, I'll just show you WP cart shortcode and it's here that you can enter in the product name price and your file URL of your digital download in and you can simply just insert that in. So I'll just quickly do that and insert that. So we'll basically do the same thing, but if you wanted to use um, the product box display shortcode, that can be just found on the documentation page. So we'll just update so I can show you what that looks like. Go straight back here and just refresh. And as you can see, it just creates that little add to cart button. So that brings us to the end of this tutorial of creating a digital downloadable product using the WP Shopping Cart plugin. If you've still got any questions, head over to the forum or email us.